one of our goals with Assassin's Creed 3 was to sort of rebuild the franchise from, from its core. Assassin's Creed 3 is a big scale game. The amount of things that are produced per day, that are developed per day, it's amazing. Once we decided that we were going to build the frontier, we realized obviously we need to populate that area, so animals became a very big deal. Usually when you see a forest in a video game, it's, it's just an obstacle. There are things that are in your way and they're going to stop you moving through and that's it. For us, it's a playground. We've got the frontier as well. We've got two of our major cities, Boston and New York. There's a lot more nature in the cities than ever before, so there's often trees and larger squares. The streets themselves are wider. These are actual replicas of the city. We recreated Boston and New York at about one to three scale. Connor is our new hero in Assassin's Creed 3. He's half British, half Mohawk. Connor is really someone who is different to Altair, who was driven by duty. It was his job to be an assassin. He's different from Ezio, who was driven by revenge. We wanted a character who was noble, who was out to fight against injustice wherever he saw it, instead of just personal revenge or just because it was a task he had to pursue. As a hero, is someone who sees himself as a defender of the people. Return to your home. We're not going anywhere. We decided to build a new engine for Assassin's Creed 3 based purely on gameplay. We wanted the combat in AC3 to be more brutal. Connor himself is a dual wielding specialist. He's always using two weapons at the same time. It allows for a beautiful animation. It also allows for more fluidity in the player response. The animation team has built over an hour of new animations just for Connor alone. So much variety in what he can climb and how he can do it. We set out with crazy ambitions for this game. And with Anvil Next, it brings the experience to a whole new level. The revolution would not have succeeded without Navy. You control the sea and you control the conflict. Founding fathers were very hard, disciplined, dedicated individuals who wanted freedom, who wanted liberty. These founding fathers were comfortable with war and they were warriors. It was the founding of a nation. It was a time when an individual could make a difference. It was all or nothing. They had to win or die. It was a gamble whether you're going to make it or not. It has depth and detail in so many different ways. To have the honor and privilege to work on this kind of thing for me is just spectacular. Let me tell you something, Karma. Life is not a fairy tale, and there are no happy endings. What would you have me do? Connor is the hero of the American Revolution. He's fighting for freedom, but he's fighting against tyranny. The fascinating thing for us is that we can bring history into life. We can actually make it a place that's explorable and vibrant and real. I hope we're offering by far the biggest and best assassins yet.